Yes guys, hello and welcome to a brand new video. Today what we've got for you is three dribbling activities that you can complete to improve your dribbling. So the first one that we've got is a nice easy warm-up drill that's pretty sport specific. It's called the in and out drill. Simply all you're going to have here is two cones or two pairs of shoes or two objects and you're going to place them side by side with a little bit of distance in the middle but not too much. And simply all you're going to do is you can either figure of eight in and out of them, make the letter M, make the letter N, you're going to travel in all different sorts of directions in and out of the cones using both feet if you can. So what you want to do here is you want to start nice and easy and build your way up so you're pushing yourself even harder. The next activity that we've got is called the cone minefield. So for this activity we have got loads and loads of cones all dotted about on the floor. What we're going to do is we're going to get the ball and we need to keep the ball nice and close to us without hitting any cones. So we're going to find different paths, go through the cones and get from one end to another. We might go round in any direction and see how many times you can do that before you hit a cone. If you do hit a cone, that's fine. However, we want to do it without hitting any of them. That's going to really focus on us keeping that ball nice and close because as you'll see, we have got loads of cones all really, really close together. And lastly, the third and final activity that we have for you guys is a lot more sport specific and this is the dribble course. Now you can complete this with either your strong foot or your weak foot. As you can see, Antonia is currently running through the drill with her right foot. Now you're going to go in and out of all the cones. When you reach the top corner at the top, you're going to perform any one of the many turns. So it's here you can see Antonia is now going for a Cruyff turn. She's going to move back all the way to the single cone in the middle. Then she's going to roll with a step over and turn out with the outside of her foot. Then she's going to come to the top of the small cone section and simply all she's going to do is she's going to tiptoe in and out with both sides of her feet and then she's going to make sure she opens her body up, takes a, a step outside of her feet and she's going to take a shot on goal. So with all of these activities, they can be a little bit tricky. So like anything else, keep trying with them, keep going and you will eventually get there. If you need to start off at a walking pace, that is absolutely fine. And then you can gradually progress and get even faster as you get more confident with these skills. But do not worry if you find it really, really hard on your first try. 